What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Robin Alex here, Ready to React to Community, Season 1, Episode number 18. In the last episode, we saw Jeff master the art of pool in his PE class. Billiards? No idea that was an actual class. If it was, that would have been fucking cool. I would have joined that class. I wouldn't have worn the jacket, though. That would have been weird. But I also wouldn't have worn the shorts, because that would be stupid. <laughs> uh, I, 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 don't, I don't understand why it was such a such an issue for the, the teacher yeah like, even so, even if he was even if he wanted jeff to not wear the stupid leather jacket or whatever like forcing him to wear the like over like way too small shorts well it's not just like, him the fact that that class even had to have a uniform is ridiculous like, that made no sense to me uh we saw abed uh, got a girl but before that the the group tried to get him to ask out this girl based on this book that had her name checked out from the library because they saw his picture in one of the books and they assumed it was Abed but really it was white Abed looked just like him but he was white hence white Abed but I think his, I think his name was Joey yeah something like that it wasn't Abed but, uh, yeah, when he went to go ask out the girl, Joey was the boyfriend, and that was that. So they kind of, yeah, I don't know. But in the end, it also, I mean, it all, like, like, we're also skipping over, like, they tried to turn him into someone else. Like, they, they, they didn't want him acting like himself because they felt like him being himself would scare her away. And then... <laughs> when they they suggested he be a different version of himself and he tried <laughs> acting like what he what he said was a vampire looked fucking re like really off-putting <laughs> well there's no way it would have worked out for him yeah but then <laughs> but in the end then, in the end the the hot girl in that billiards class ended up falling for him or whatever pretty sure that doesn't last but you know good for Abed. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all that happened. Unless you guys want us to recap the fact that Jeff and the, the teacher played pool against each other naked. Uh, but I don't think we really have to go into that. I'm not going to try and go into every position they did. <laughs> but yeah. I will say the Dean uh, needs to back up, though. Yeah. That was very telling. I mean, everyone kind of figured, right? It wasn't like no one knew, but... And this... Last episode, he kind of let it all out there. Anyway, let's just jump right in. Season 1, episode 18. Hey, I haven't seen you all day. <laughs> Jesus, man. There's two of them and they're procreating. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you breaking up with me? Oh, <laughs> maybe we don't need to talk. This is like out of nowhere. I'm with, yeah, I'm, I'm with Jeff there. Like, where's this coming from? And they're always finishing each other's pie. Exactly. It's creepy. It's that's not how that goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't believe my grandma's rolling her old bones down here. I gotta pick a cabinet to hide in. You hide from her? Why? Don't be blind to your grandmother's value. You need to cherish her. She's gonna agree, like, by halfway through the episode, right? Probably. Always happens. Looking for my family. Oh, well, I'm sure at the very least I could fill in for a creepy uncle. Jeff. Why would... Why would that line work? Yeah small world no actually it's a very big world with five billion other women in it <laughs> maybe uh back off of that one jeff <sighs> i'm back without booty <laughs> you're uh, abed's father i'm surely and that's elijah like the prophet and jordan like the 14-time nba all-star is it how you say hello that's my name <laughs> <laughs> Something about his mass emails that made me certain this would be a family reunion. Oh, that's <laughs> too cool for family. Everyone here is my family. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Phantom Menace, how's a trade embargo wow. with the Naboo? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jeff, uh, cards on the table, Jeff. Uh, Amber's the best shot I'll ever have. And something like a real daughter and i'm striking out. okay that's not where i thought he was going based on what we heard earlier but okay 
How much effort do I rate? For you? Um, I'd break a light sweat. Good, I need a favor. Help Pierce with his stepdaughter? <laughs> what? That's not a favor, oh, that's come bullshit. Come on, Annie. That's not cool. Disappointing you is like choking the little mermaid with a bike chain. <laughs> <laughs> come on, I'm sure you've broken a few hearts in your time. Oh, tell me. How many men do you think I laid with? <laughs> oh boy. She can make me get it. I just have to know what it is. A switch is a stick she can use to whoop you with? <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. Ask her if she wants to play with us. Yeah, we'll do a lot. He just straight up said no. Is she calling a pig's name or something? She's saying she's old enough to jump in a giant balloon. Just <laughs> Now she says he's a pig anus. Uh, <laughs> Stupid. Well, I mean, they got around to it. Yeah. Look at them. You are a bad mother. Wow. You just went straight there. Fuck that you. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even like that shirt. <laughs> Stupid. You're leaving. My girlfriend is pregnant. Pierce said you're gay. He... What? Yep. Not necessary. Shamed. I'm just glad I have friends like Pierce to keep. That is. Okay. There's a Pictionary tournament in the student lounge. Sounds fun. Is Jeff joining us? I don't know if he can. Can you? I can't. No. Come on, stay. Stay. I can't. Well, maybe I shouldn't either. Stay. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. Well, actually, I don't even know if it's fucked up. I feel like he's probably in the wrong here. I'm. I'm on Jeff's and Amber's side, honestly, mostly because I have I don't really trust Pierce's intentions here. Yeah, he says he's just trying to be a stepdad. But I don't know. It it doesn't feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> this is real life. My nana's gonna whoop you. Not unless I find her a sweet. Uh. Do you realize that's how it works, right? Oh, what a surprise that you lost them. They're playing hide and seek. Uh, where? I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Snark, his job All to look right. after you. You got me, Gooby. I'm a bad mother. I'm don't don't listen to him. Like, are we forgetting like what like how he treated Abed early on? Abra, you look me in the eyes and you tell me. That's one of her kids. Um, I'm sorry. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, but isn't she too old to be in there? <laughs> happy face. And that's a clam? As happy as a clam. Yes! As happy as a clam? What a gay guess. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see. Don't do it. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> Stop circling the same thing. Well, guess something, you girlfriendless geek. Drop your pants and get over my lap. All you have to do is walk away. Britta. Why? Why do you do this? Just take the L, not this one. See, Troy, did you think I was a hypocrite? That I wouldn't really... Okay, how oh, that really... Oh, okay, that really... <laughs> She's taking a bunch of money from him. He thinks it's for school, but it's for grifting. Did you tell him? He boned her. Oh my Jeff! <laughs> oh froze! I guess I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not hurt. And Amber threw herself at me. Well you still have to tell Pierce she's She's also really hot to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell? What the hell? How did that even happen? Maybe she is a bad mom. <laughs> and you said Troy was right. Give uh -oh. me a switch. Okay. No. Say no. I'd rather be the bad guy than watch you siphon him. How about this? I walk away, and if the check clears, I won't make problems for you. I'll stay gone. Come back whenever you want. But be good to him when you do. Because I'll be around. I gotta tell you something. She's not coming, is she? I wrote her a pretty big check this afternoon. I had a feeling she might 
take it and run. You want me to help you cancel it? Oh, hell, she earned it. If you have friends, you have family. Jeffrey. Oh, come here, son. What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that's where he was going at it. But, and now he's turning it into a dance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if the roles were reversed, I would have had sex with your ex stepdaughter. Wow. <laughs> I did. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we always used to watch the shows. She wanted to watch. Who is that, anyways? I, I don't hate know. Glee. She likes Glee. <laughs> I don't understand the appeal at all. <laughs> Neither do we. I think I hit G13. All right, that was episode number 18 of Community. Uh, it was okay, I thought. But honestly, here's what I was thinking as the episode was kind of going along. I like Britta, but I feel like her character, like she she doesn't know when to stop. Like, you know what I mean? Like she tries to she, prove a point. So yeah, yeah, sometimes she just has to admit when she's wrong. Yeah, like, what do you And do? she was. <laughs> Absolutely. Just just stop. And Troy, on that on that end, you're in college, man. <laughs> what are you doing, too? Like, you shouldn't just be taking it that, like that. Yeah. Come on. Come on, man. But besides that, like, that's my only gripe with her character. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a good flaw, I guess, for the series. But, like, just in general, as, like, I guess off the script of the show like as a person i guess you could say that's like a major uh negative in her case but uh you know it is what it is jeff and pierce obviously having another i feel like they're they have they have the most episodes where they're kind of like bonding or getting more one-on-one -on -one time and stuff together out of all the other people, right? They, probably. They probably. To, this is like at least the third or fourth one where they've had like heart to hearts or something that I could think of. No, it, it probably is them. I mean, like Jeff and Pierce and Jeff and Abed are probably yeah. the ones. Not, of course, that that like that's not counting Troy and Abed, who are just sort of a comedy duo. Yeah, we see that in every episode at the end. Um. But as I said earlier, I'm starting to lean towards maybe not being in favor of it, but you could see it. Annie and Jeff, like their like they have, dynamic. They have, yeah, they have a good dynamic. They have good chemistry together. Um, again, I think I had mentioned, maybe I'm, or no, maybe I'm thinking of this wrong. Like I know, I know, obviously Jeff is older than Annie. I don't remember. I don't remember if I said that I thought it, uh, the age gap was too much or not. I, I could be thinking of the Mick because I know that I thought that age gap was too much. Yeah. Between uh, what's her name and the uh, damn carpenter or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I can't. I honestly can't remember. But. I do think I like their chemistry much more than Jeff and Brenna. Yeah, I'm starting to lean, lean towards that too. And I know the age gap um, is like 10 years. And I know I, I, we got, we've gotten comments saying that, you know, we like, I guess it's an American way to think or something like the age gap is, isn't like that huge of a deal. Or some, something, something along those lines, but well, like that, and the, the age gap means less as you get older. Which yeah, yeah, I get. that I understand. Like, like for the time being, Jeff is almost thirty, and Annie is fresh out of high school. Yeah, that when we say like the age gap between Annie and Jeff is big, that's what we're coming from. She's literally straight out of high school, and he's been living as an adult for almost a decade, longer than a decade. Like that's where we're coming from, but. Like other than that, like she's 18, she can do what she wants, obviously. But like that's where we're saying. Uh, but as far as like their chemistry, I can't tell if it's strictly like he looks at her like a little sister, 
because you could see at least through her eyes when like remember the pool episode she's over here checking him out obviously liking what she's you know she's definitely yeah she's definitely attracted to him yeah and you could also argue that she's just you know like like we said she's a teenage girl straight out of high school she likes what she sees so she's kind of you know just whatever but with jeff like you could kind of on the flip side see where he isn't totally against it like the age gap isn't like well, he, he's obviously attracted to her, too. Like, yeah. He's made that pretty clear. Right. But, like, I think I think he still does the, uh, see Annie as a kid, though, to some degree. Like, the way that he treats her is almost is almost like, like a little sister type. Yeah. But I wonder if, like, the more we go along in the series might change. Because I, I don't know how many years they're going to be in college. You know what I mean? Like, the, the first half of this was all, only the first semester. And there's what five or six seasons of this so as time goes along you could possibly see them get together that's just you know it's maybe I, I obviously still think Britta is his you know main goal or objective probably I I wouldn't be surprised if Jeff Britta was endgame uh, but I do right now I'm enjoying the chemistry between him and Annie Moore yeah um uh I'm glad that uh we haven't seen much of vaughn i'll say that too yeah me too I'm not, although apparently we did learn that i guess pierce farted on him yeah and <laughs> texted jeff about it yeah whatever i don't know but it it is kind of disappointing though that they like almost instantly dropped it like i kind of don't like when shows do that but i don't i don't know maybe he'll come back i don't know but Let's see uh we also met Pierce's stepdaughter, though. Yeah, we were going to talk about her swindling him out of money. And apparently, but apparently he knew. So I mean, and when he said she earned it, that's what I was curious about. Because at first I was like, "What the hell does that mean?" But I think he just means like, you know, he putting got, up with him. Yeah, I think that's what she meant. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was really uncomfortable though. Like. <laughs> He, he, he was so focused on how hot she was and talking about how hot she was. Again, it's just... I wouldn't be saying those things if, I, if I'm in your position, man. Like, I know stepdaughter isn't the same as daughter, but, like, it just... It's not a good look. <laughs> right. It also kind of gets us questioning his real intentions. You know, he's over here talking about wanting to be a good stepdad and all that stuff. But he's constantly bringing up her physical looks and how attractive she is and stuff. Mm, I don't know. Do you want to be her stepdad? <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, as far as the episode, I don't think it was the strongest one. But I think we've gotten like some things out of it. Like Britta's character, obviously we've already mentioned it. So her one of her biggest flaws as a person is she doesn't know when to take the L and just accept the fact that she's not always right um, Annie and, and Jeff obviously their relationship is developing too as even though he may look at her as just like a little sister there is some attraction there I think on both ends less so from Jeff because obviously the age gap I think the age gap is also big is important to him too not just like the way we think about it not too much though i'm, I'm not saying he wouldn't do it i'm just saying like i think at like because i don't i i think britta is older than annie but not by much i think she and jeff are close to the same age. she's like 28 in the show i think it, in the show or or are they just close in age in real life because i thought that she was no i think britta's yeah, 28 I thought she was younger britta's 28 i think I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure because Jeff is like 29 or 30, I think. Anyway, I think I think we're talking like too much about that. I, I'm just saying like we saw two like a few developing things. Jeff and Pierce again, another episode where they kind of come together and stuff. Oh, also we we met uh, we met Senior Chang's brother. Didn't know he had one, but it was a rabbi. Yeah, very not expected. <laughs> got got another little hint of the dean's racism. Uh, saying yeah. Sayonara, saying, telling them sayonara, which I'm pretty sure, maybe I'm wrong and it wasn't racist at all, but I'm pretty sure they're not Japanese. 
<laughs> anyway, I think we've had a decent review here. It's been almost nine minutes. Holy shit. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. Please, no spoilers. And if you're interested in anime reactions, down below in the description is a link to Alex's YouTube channel where that's all we do. And with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next one.